In today's video, my goal is to keep the cows separated. We're gonna build some top rail pipe fence out of two and seven eighths pipe, and we're gonna be tacking cattle panel to that top rail. The short section of fence that I'm going to be building is going to be replacing a T-post and cattle panel fence that these cows were jumping over and going through, which you'll hear more about later in the video. I did wanna let you know that the pipe fence course is now open for enrollment and will be open for enrollment year round. But if you wanna get notified whenever it goes on sale throughout the year, go to our website, arosfelding.school. And there on the homepage, about midway down, you should be able to find a section that says newsletter. If you just fill out the information, that'll put you, put you on our email list and we will send you an update during any sales that we have going on on the pipe fence course or any other course that we have available there on the trade school website. If you're new around here and have no idea what the pipe fence course is, in short, it is an online course where I teach you how to build pipe fence from start to finish and all the tips and tricks that I've learned over my years of building pipe fence. Like I said, that's arosswelding.school. I'm just playing, playing farmer today. You better believe it. I'm fixing to set some two and seven eighths posts. One more. We'll be ready to set a top rail. Breaker, 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 one nine, radio, radio, check. Got lucky there, boys. Now time for the transport. Bada bing, bada boom.
293 and three quarter. For a cup of coffee, sit back and admire our work. Oh, yeah. Now, once we can afford some pipe, same thing we'll put over there. I don't know what it is, inch and a half or something. We'll put four rails underneath this, but until then, we're just going to tack some cattle panel on here. So, the whole reason we're redoing this fence is because our cows that we feed out for beef separated a couple of them and uh, and one of them misses his buddies that he got separated from so he was getting through here there was just t-post here and uh, first he jumped over it and then took the other one with him and then uh, so then I raised the cattle panel but then he slipped in between the cattle panel I didn't get them wired together good and the t-posts were only you know I don't know foot or so on the ground not very much and he he's just he just misses his friends, so he was getting through here, so I finally prioritized rebuilding it, so hopefully this keeps them separated. Yeah, yeah, gotta keep them separated. During this whole project, I welded with one welding rod, and that is welded out. Now it's time to tack some panels on here. So this right here is less than a 90 because we're going downhill. So therefore these got to be trimmed off to that same angle. I've just got it tacked on top, one, two, three tacks. I'll hang the other two panels and then, uh, then I'll go through here and trim off what I need to.
What's up, my dude? Hey, dude. I'll be licking my torch now. And cows like to lick things. I'll be licking the torch, my friend. Yeah, don't look at the ark, I told you. I told you you'd burn your eyes. I told you, I'd try telling you. You can't really see it in this time lapse, so I wanted to show you what I was using close up on these cattle panels. Wherever my cattle panels meet, I like to trim those little teats off on the end. That way I can put the two vertical pieces right up against each other. And to help me do that, I cut some notches in this clamp. So I made this clamp as a ground, but I was able to put some notches in this angle and my cattle panel ran right through here and I was able to use my this clamp that I already had modified a little bit and helped me squeeze them pieces together. In the past, I've used my gate jacks to hang cattle panel. And because I didn't do that this time, some of my, where my cattle panels met, I let, they ended up being a little bit further apart than what I liked. So I had to use this to squeeze them together. So if you're using gate jacks, then I would recommend making sure that your vertical pieces are parallel and almost touching. But like I said, to do that, you'll have to trim off the little overlap pieces on your cattle panel. If you are not aware of what gate jacks are, check out our website, arosswelding.com. You can find digital prints of the gate jacks. This way you can build your very own, but what they are is just jacks to help you hang a gate way easier than any other way you may have struggled with in the past. And like I said, they're handy to hang things like cattle panel, continuous fence, etc. that holds her in we'll see feels good though to have it done all right thanks for coming along with me today i hope you enjoyed the video like always i hope you learned something in today's video if you did i would love to know what you learned let me know down in the comments below also i encourage you to share your knowledge therefore teaching myself or anyone else that reads the comments I don't get around to responding to every comment, but I do try to read most of them, and I've learned a lot from those of you that share your years of experience and knowledge there in the comments, and I know others read them as well. And if you like the comments, like the comments. That way we know that you're reading them and you're learning from them. As always, this project feels so gratifying to have it complete. I don't even want to talk about how many times I sorted them cows because they kept getting out like every other feeding time. They kept getting into that other pen with the other cows. So now by having this fence finished, it's a couple weeks now from the time I filmed this project and they have not got out. So fence is holding strong and it just feels good. I love building things with my hands, especially whenever it's something that is practical and makes your daily life or daily chores or whatever it is, whatever the project may be, makes your daily life that much more enjoyable. And like I said earlier in the video, if you're interested in building your own pipe fence or learning how to build pipe fence to offer in your mobile welding business, check out our website, arosswelding.school. It's now available year round. You can get it whenever, but if you do want to get notified whenever we put it on sale, make sure and get on our newsletter. 
You can do that by going to arosswelding.school and there on the home page, scroll midway down, you'll see a section that says newsletter, punch in your information, that will put you on our list and we will send you an email about any sales or any bundle deals that we have going on with any of our online courses. I also wanna take this moment to thank all of you who are waiting patiently for the next module to come out with the branding and marketing course that Kayla is diligently working on. For those of you who may not know, that is the latest course that we just launched this month we pre-sold it last year and we just released the first module and as Kayla gets the next module done, she will drip it to you by way of email. So if you haven't checked your email in a while and you bought the Boomtown Your Business course, I just wanted to let you know that the main way that Kayla is going to be communicating with you is via email. So make sure and check your email to stay up to date. Again, thanks for being here. Have an awesome weekend or an awesome day and remember, learn something every day.